so we're back again and today we're talking about the reunion the part one reunion of love and marriage huntsville i'm gonna say the one thing that caught my eyes was the stormy and latisha's exchange of words in this episode and i tell you the hate is real i say again the hate is real welcome once again guys to our channel if you're not subscribed make sure you click the subscription button down below to subscribe like and comment so back to the reunion now we got to see in this episode the part one we got to see tisha and um stormy exchange words and you could see that the dislike was really there they absolutely that like she especially from stormy's point of view the disgust is there for both tisha and myself the worst the way she's changing was so bad the way tisha said go and pop pills i was like did, did, did she ever say she was into drugs before just because she stood up for kiki doesn't make her a drug popper if there's a word like that so her coming to say oh go pop pills i'm like that was no and i i understand why stormy said oh did you rehearse that in the car hmm, that was catchy because it felt as if latisha came out with an energy because truthfully let's go back to what started this thing the host who is carlos asked stormy a question about does she feel that Mats, um, Marcel and Latisha can be the power couple that her, that Stormy and her husband are with the way they are very shady with their businesses and not really being open with their businesses. She didn't even allow Stormy to even word an answer. She didn't even allow Stormy to say anything and she just went right in and was like, oh you were not supposed to be asking them that kind of question and i felt like that was like you were trying to be shady at least give us the audience the the, the way to listen to stormy's answer to that question before you answer back but no tisha decided like you know today like she said to her husband when they were off camera when they were in their dressing room just like i'm not here today to take any hate from anybody everybody has always been coming from me according to her since season one and now today's the day she's gonna drop on every single person she's not gonna allow anybody say anything to her and the first person she wanted to experiment that one was stormy and they were going hard on everybody and i love the way carlos did try to tell tisha yes it was a copy and paste yes you say it was not your fault yes you say it was a graphic designer's fault but in business you should have told the person the graphic designer to come outside and make a statement and say yes it was my it was my fault i didn't make a mistake but you allow people wrong with the story you allow people you know make insinuations of how they felt about it that doesn't make you a very good businesswoman. And Stormy's answer to that was actually also great, saying that in business, every mistake will be attributed to you as the boss. Because to be that you as the boss did not supervise the job being done properly, you did not make do a great job in being the boss. So at one time, you should take responsibility of that. And I don't think tisha did still get the message i think she really did come here like stormy did say gone blazing bazooka ready and ready to shoot anybody down she doesn't care or didn't care about what you had to say whether you were truthful whether you were lying all she cared was that she wanted to air her own point of view she wanted to watch you and one thing i would say is tisha is always one person that's always come and be like show the receipt show the receipt Bring the person, bring the people. For someone that is always onto the matter of show the receipt, bring the people, bring the persons. I want to see the evidence. You were saying a lot of things without evidences, like saying to your um, stormy owes. Where is the evidence? I want to see the evidence. Before you say stormy is owing, show me the evidence. And for you have to still attribute them 
Stormy not giving her the hundred dollars as also Stormy owing them did not make sense to me because she never told Stormy before the Black Expo that you were going you were going to be there was going to be money being dropped and now you're like oh she's not the she's uh, we're not the only person she's owing I'm like she's owing you just hundred dollars that she never knew existed from anywhere and you are you know classifying it under the fact that she's also owing you that did not make sense to me at all and the way she was trying to be you know she was trying to go alone and was like oh go and use that tiktok money and pay people that you owe so you do know that she made money on tiktok that was my first thing i said so you do know that stormy did make money on tiktok that means you know she's successful in what she does stop playing those games because for you to say use the tiktok money you made and pay the people you owe how do you have all of a sudden know the people she owes how do you all of a sudden know she owes a lot of people and you're like the street is talking Woo. i was like the street has always been talking about you tisha the street has always been talking about you and myself's marriage the street has always been talking about you and myself's business but you've always stood on your ground saying that as far as nobody can bring evidences as far as nobody can bring receipts you stand on where you are and now you are using that same street talking against somebody else i will say this and i will say this again latisha don't do what you don't want to be done to you if you can be able to tell somebody that the streets are talking about them in a light and you believe what the street is talking so thereof you should be able to also take it when it's being said about you that the street is talking about you in any way whether it's talking about you personally talking about your marriage talking about your finances talking about your businesses you have to take it in because you can dish it out to people but you expect other people to respect your privacy that's not how it do it's done if you want to go out there and be so brutal if you want to go out there and be so outward and call out people be prepared to be called out stormy was also there so i also loved stormy's exchange stormy was not there for that shenanigans and i and i said with stormy that truthfully let's be honest love and marriage made masao and latisha stormy has always been a big name before love and marriage huntsville you can't quantify the both of them together you can't just because latisha has been in love and marriage for the longest of time she has a bigger fan base she's an og member of love and marriage huntsville doesn't excuse her and to say what she has to she, she feels like she wants to say and the truth is that i was thinking that this beef i'm not gonna lie i thought this beef between stormy and latisha was just joke was just play it was like you know abracadabra to my face but now seeing them in the reunion the faces stormy was making the disgust she has in she had in her face will literally tell you that mm, she wasn't riding with marcel she wasn't riding with tisha it was out there and the way tisha was trying to bring her low when it came to her business was trying to knock her down when she comes to her business i was like you complain about the same thing people are always trying to knock you down she even said it in one of the episodes that people were just being haters trying to ruin her business trying to you know diminish the things she has accomplished and you're trying to do that to another person so you have no right to complain about people doing that to you because you're also doing the same thing well, all in all, I did enjoy the episode, although I felt like there were too many ads for no just cause. Like one scene or two scenes, then long ads breaks. And I know that that's it's Carlos style. I expected it. He wanted to just outstretch this thing to be three parts, you know. But anyway, we'll be waiting for next week. But of course, before we go, don't forget to join us later today later sorry later tomorrow for us to talk about we're going to have an, an open panel chat on the reunion and where we're going to be diving into all the whole things the whole talking points that happened on the episode of love and marriage 
season six reunion don't forget to like and comment because the more you like the more youtube recommends the video don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinion about what i said or what you feel about what happened in the episode and don't forget to click on the subscription button down below to subscribe and we'll see you guys later tomorrow